Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, um, I have been working pretty tirelessly on this whole Duna effort, and, uh, I can tell that it's kind of wearing on me as well as it's wearing on you guys, and I don't feel like I should be apologizing, but, I mean, I kind of feel bad because most of my content, at least currently, has been dedicated towards just getting this whole thing off the ground. I, right now, have, er, well, am launching the satellite network that will be in orbit. There's two separate satellite networks, uh, one that will be for Ike and the other one will be for Duna. There's a command module set up on here and everything, and this thing is going to take a while just to even get off the ground. I'm not getting the best frame rate because this rocket is just way too many parts right now. But once we start getting higher up in the atmosphere and all that good stuff, I think we should see some improved in uh, performance. So one of the things I've been working on with my rocket is I ended up completely changing the design of my rocket other I mean it looks exactly the same no I uh, worked with the staging and I ended up changing it to a different style stage staging and basically it's going to be shedding parts as uh, we take off. I really don't know what it's called. I want to say that it's called asparagus staging, but I think there's a different name for it that I just can't think of right now, and I've been trying to figure it out, but eh, I can't remember it right now. So, I, I just, you know, I want to get it a, a few things off my chest, you know, a few people are just a little bit upset with this whole moon base thing, and I really don't know why, but yeah, that's uh, how it's going, and I just really hope that everyone else is just kind of on board with this, and you're willing to understand that a very big build is going to take a lot of time, because you guys notice what I'm sending up, it's just everything, because once we get there, I kind of want to do this all in one shot, so then once we get there, we can really just get everything set up. Whoa, speed up, speed up, speed up. I feel like once uh, those get loaded out and you know a few of our stages get loaded out, I think we'll be alright. I did put fins back on my rocket again, but I don't know if I'm going to be keeping those. So you'll see um, that stage is pretty much the same. You'll notice my fuel is changing a little bit, but uh, that stage is pretty much the same with the solids. And now for the next part of my staging which will be these tanks which get shed off and that is kind of the beginnings of it and everything else so you can see we're just gradually shedding weight as we're taking off as soon as those and we're basically emptying out tanks this actually improves it remarkably uh, just unbelievably better than what I had before uh, it really j does j like jump leaps and bounds over what I used to have so I did a lot of testing with it that's all I can say I mean I can't give you an exact number as far as like Delta V or anything else is concerned as far as how good it is compared to what I had before but a lot of testing that I've done basically just gave me enough assurance that I know that it is at, in fact a lot better most of the things that I've launched like orange tanks and stuff like that um, I, I don't know if you guys can remember but the orange tanks themselves when I used to launch them my rocket used to kind of struggle near the end and you know it was kind of it wasn't iffy whether or not I'd get it to orbit it was just more so uh, the idea of the amount of fuel that I would use to get one into orbit and the efficiency of it. Now I can basically get the whole stage, or I can get the whole stage, um, you know, the the orbital stage along with uh, the backstage that I normally have, and I can achieve orbit pretty much with all of that stuff and with uh, that last stage to like, you know 
get into orbit, that last stage will have about one third of fuel left, and I will still have all of this stage just completely full without any fuel used. So it does make a big, big difference, and I'm really hoping that um, I can really start showing you guys that stuff, because I think I increased my carrying capacity by a lot more, I'm just not 100% certain as to how far and how much I can, in fact, bring to orbit now. So I really hope it's a lot more, but... Um, just not too sure on exactly how much that's going to be. There we go. I, I didn't even notice that that stage was dead, but whatever. We just aren't getting the best of frame rate right now because of the fact that this rocket it just has an insane amount of parts on it right now. And it, most of it has to do with this upper stage here and these satellite. Um, these satellites have a lots of parts uh, combined so that it wasn't like the best decision on my part but at the same time I kind of wanted to launch eight satellites instead of four and I didn't want to have two separate missions of satellites going there so I just figured I'd do it all in one shot so not the best decision but whatever it works come on I, this thing is just nosing over right now and I don't Come on, I, we need to get it up a little bit higher before we start nosing over that far, I feel like. Come on. So, yeah, um, this is the 199th episode, guys, and I, you know, I say that, and I'm not, like, very, uh, enthused about what I have ahead of me, but at the same time, I feel like this is gonna be... Probably, you know, a Jewel Explorer type mission and, you know, with just a lot entailing it. Just so much little fine detail and fine things that I have that I really feel like this is going to be a really awesome mission. I just really hope everything comes together and everything works out, so... I'm probably going to try to get this thing into orbit as quick as possible and um, you know I'm gonna try to make this video relatively short I'm going to start launching all the rest of the stuff that I have very soon I, oh, I, I thought that a part of my rocket fell apart or something come on come on I, I was not paying attention for that that but yeah, I should be enthused, but I really am not with the amount of work I have ahead of me because you guys just have no idea on how much uh, I really have left to do, so. Come on. Pull up. There we go. That That's, I think that's okay. Yeah, that was a really crappy takeoff. I'm just not getting the best of frame rate right now, so I can't even... Wow, this is this is looking amazing. So I mean, I, I should cover one thing that will happen once we get there. What basically I will be doing is decoupling, uh, you know, undocking this part and then undocking this, and this main stage here will attach to that, and that will actually be the rocket that will get these into orbit and bring them to wherever they need to be as far as you know the satellite network is concerned so it's going to be a lot of work getting that satellite network set up but you know I'm, I'm pretty good at it now when it comes down to doing these as you guys can see you know I really haven't had very much problem with any of these satellite networks and stuff like that but really just uh, just uh, not 100% uh, happy with how slow this is going. Oh, we need to get rid of these. Totally not paying attention. Come on, I, I really hope that these uh, parts, like... I really hope it just starts picking up on the frame right here because it's actually really bad right now. I, I just, I'm, I'm getting, like, ever since launch, it was like five frames a second. Now it's up to like nine or ten. But 
It's still pretty friggin' bad. I'm sorry about this. So I'm just gonna get this thing into orbit and I'll see you once we get further out and I actually achieve an orbit. And we hit orbit, guys. Yeah. Th so this was a really, really bad idea as far as uh, the engine on this thing. I decided to put this on here last minute, which I think I'm going to keep it on here. I think it just has to do more with the part list, at least for right now, is how many parts is on, or how many parts are on the spacecraft, which you can see is a bunch, but. Yeah, so everything's just been kind of slowed down a little bit, which has been annoying, but whatever. Uh, so what some of the things I'm going to cover real quick, which I haven't before, at least I didn't remember to, are um, basically I wanted to talk about the... Um, subscriber or not the subscriber but oh yeah the subscriber submissions and uh the feature of the week which the subscriber submissions i should be doing an episode i think i might end up doing an episode here very soon i got a couple craft in and I'm, i have one built myself that i really want to show you guys because i thought it, it was kind of an improvement but not really of a creation I've made a long time ago so I'm going to see if I can do something about that don't know yet but I'm going to definitely try and uh, the other thing with the feature of the week um, like I said before our old one is up so the new new one will be somebody that a lot of people kind of know about but a lot of people don't know about in this community and you know I, I don't really have a lot of people that are really wanting to be featured at least at the moment so um, you know with the first couple I kinda chose so um, the next one is going to be Thor LP and I kinda just come to this decision at least for right now and mostly because I know of a lot of people who really don't watch his videos or really know about him, which is kind of weird because he probably has one of the better series on, at least for KSP, at least I think so, with, um, you know, the Insane Rockets Division and just doing really just crazy things that uh, a lot of people don't normally do with this game or anything like that so I figure I should mention this uh, you know go and check him out I'll have a link 
um, you know, up in the upper right hand corner. You can go check them out. You know, if you want, let them know that I sent you. That'd be cool, or whatever. But um, yeah, definitely go and check his stuff out. He definitely has some really great, amazing things that, you know, even put some of my works to shame. So it's definitely put some of my works to shame. But yeah, definitely go and check that out. But um, yeah, guys. So I'm gonna leave it here. Um, Definitely got some kinks to work out with this thing, and uh, yeah. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome, and uh, yeah. I will see you next time.